Hi there, it's Jim at Better Photo. In the last video, we talked about carrying your camera with you everywhere you go and working the scene, making many, many exposures. Well, if you've ever felt like there's just not enough time to chase the images that you're passionate about, well, you're not alone. Hit the thumbs up button if you've been there. And don't forget to subscribe for more insights and inspiration in the future. Well, have you ever been on your way to work and you spotted a perfect photo opportunity, but then you thought, I can't stop. I might be late for work. Well, I hear you. It's always a battle between following your passion and the responsibilities of daily life. This constant tug of war has made me too miss many captivating, moving moments. But here's a thought. What if it's not about having enough time, but rather making the most of the time that we have? The notion of balance is a myth. Instead, the passionate life is about being fully present and grateful for the moments we love the most and capturing them. So how do we shift from constantly feeling strapped for time to becoming masters of our own creative journey? Well, the answer lies in becoming good editors. Focus on the ideal outcome that you want and then set a clear goal for what you want to capture. Be selective like an editor. This doesn't mean limiting yourself. It means focusing your lens both metaphorically and literally. One approach that has transformed the way that I shoot is focusing on before and after photos. Show the world not just what is, but what could be with the subject in its best light. Capture a scene in its raw state and then, through your artistry, reveal the transformed vision. Keep both. Or, even after you get the shot that you believe is a winner, if you take that first, then take a photo showing what could have been without you using your best technique. This side-by-side -side comparison isn't just for your audience, it's a reminder to yourself of your creative impact. And remember, every great photographer was once a student. So learn and practice photography as if you're going to show this and teach this concept to someone else. Learn as if you're gonna teach. This mindset will not only improve the skills that you need, but also it will make every shot more purposeful. What if you treated your photography like a professional job? even if it's just a passion project. Well, if before and after photos aren't your thing, give yourself a different assignment. The key is to have a focus and a desired intention. And then also to create itineraries. Go out with your theme or your category in mind and then schedule your time to get that shot. Make a plan. This structured approach will sharpen your focus and make your photography sessions way more productive. And finally, give yourself permission to come back to those missed shots. If you miss one, tell yourself, I'll be back. Because there will always be more moments to capture, more beauty to witness, and more stories to tell through your lens. Remember, making time for your passion isn't about finding extra time, extra hours in the day, it's about prioritizing so that you get the photos that make you feel more passionate and alive. Whether you're a year from retiring, a decade into your career, or a decade into your retirement, it's never too late to stop for that picture. So the next time that you see that perfect shot, take a deep breath and give yourself permission to pause and photograph. Because in the end, those moments are the ones you're going to treasure the most. So before you go, remember to click that thumbs up button to like this video. And if this resonated, subscribe for more in the future. Keep going for those better photos and keep making time for what you love. And until next time, keep framing your world in a unique way. Thanks for watching. This is Jim at Better Photo coming to you from Shakespeare's birthplace in Stratford-upon-Avon. Remember, like the, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Talk to you soon.